ora. Thought I'd talk a bit about the um, Pfizer COVID vaccine. We see that this is our opportunity to get back to life as we used to know it before COVID. Being able to go over to Australia and see our whanau. I know my sister-in-law over there is dying for us to come over. And for our whanau who are over in the Pacific Islands, it'd be so great to be able to go over and visit them all. So I really see this vaccine as our chance to get back to reality, back to normality. Uh, no more stopping work, starting work, stopping school. Our kids are hoha. The vaccine is really a big opportunity for us to be able to get back to our usual life. I think the vaccine is also the way that we can protect our kaumatua, our kuia, to make sure that our, if COVID does come to Aotearoa, we're not seeing any deaths from it. If you get vaccinated, most of the time you won't get sick at all. If you do get sick, you're one of the, the small number of people that actually get sick from the coronavirus when you've had the vaccine, you're much less likely to get a severe illness, which is a really good thing as well. You know, we can cope with a cold, but those severe pneumonias and difficulty breathing and needing help to breathe in hospital are really scary for all of us. And we don't want to have to experience that. And a vaccine is a way of avoiding that. The Pfizer vaccine is what we call an mRNA vaccine. What that means is that we are being injected with a little piece of mRNA which is not DNA you have your cell in the nucleus is some DNA that DNA unwinds and makes a copy of itself and that's called mRNA and that comes out of the nucleus and into the body of the cell what the mRNA does it's an instruction it tells our body how to make something most often proteins the mRNA that we get given in the vaccine is an instruction on how to make the spike protein from the coronavirus. So you may have seen the coronavirus or pictures of it. It's a little round thing with lots of little spikes on it. And so what the mRNA does is it makes one of those little spike proteins. Once you've done that, your body actually produces that protein and your immune system recognizes that that's not part of your body and it mounts an attack on the little spike proteins and then it's gone because it's not actually a virus you don't get sick from that but you get the immune response and then what our immune system does is it remembers things that it's been exposed to in the past so the idea is that in the future if you get exposed to coronavirus our immune system will recognize that spike and it'll attack the virus much quicker than it would have if you hadn't been exposed to coronavirus or the spike protein before. So that's how the immunization works. Some people are worried that the mRNA is going to get into our DNA and change our DNA. The mRNA doesn't go into where our DNA is, it's in a separate part of our cell, so it can't integrate into it. And our immune system, when it's launching it, its attack against the spike protein, it also attacks the mRNA molecule and actually gets rid of it. So it's not in our body for very long at all. The Pfizer BioNTech vaccine was developed in the UK and they tested it on just over 40,000 people there. Half of those people received the vaccine and half of those people received what we call a placebo vaccine, so it was a fake vaccine to see that didn't have any medicine in it, to see how they reacted when they were exposed to coronavirus. So what they did is they monitored those people over time and counted how many in each group got the infection and then compared those that had the vaccine and those that didn't have the vaccine. And what they found is that the people that had the vaccine were 95% less likely to get coronavirus compared to the group that did, which is a pretty impressive number. They found that after the first dose, you were about 50% protected. And then when you had your second dose, you got up to that 95% threshold. What we don't know is how long that protection lasts and how long our immune system is going to remember that infection. That's some of the ongoing research that's happening. But what we do know is that in the time that they've monitored so far, the immunity does last. 
Over 12 million doses have been given in the USA since this vaccine was available. So vaccines work in two ways. One way is that the individual who gets their vaccine is protected. For example, I've had my first dose of my COVID vaccine. If I were to be exposed to the coronavirus, there's a much lower chance of me as an individual getting sick, which is great for me. And when I've had my second dose, it'll be an even higher chance of me not getting sick. That's the individual protection that you can get. Herd immunity is where enough people in the community have had the vaccine that it doesn't spread through the community. And one of the important things that needs to happen is that if I get exposed to coronavirus, even if I don't get sick, my immune system or my immune reaction is strong enough that I then don't pass it on. So what can happen sometimes is that I don't get sick but my body still sheds the virus and passes it to other people. And so the research around whether this vaccine is gonna stop the spread, even in people that don't get sick, is still being done, but the early results suggest that it does stop the spread. So that's gonna be a really important step, particularly because there are some people in our community who choose not to get vaccinated, or there are some people who cannot be vaccinated or do not respond to the immunization even if they get the vaccination. It's really important that um, if you get a booking for a COVID vaccine that you stick to your booking because the vaccine has to be kept at a certain temperature and once it's past that time we have to throw the vaccine away. So if you can stick to your appointment because we've bought enough vaccines for everybody that's been booked in. So I just want to say kia kaha whanau. Um, I think this is a really important way of protecting our whakapapa, protecting our whanau and getting on with getting back to the good old days pre-COVID. So go out and get your immunisation as soon as it's your turn.